hi everyone this video starts on monday the 5th of april so a little bit behind with my videos but there you go it's been a busy time and extremely cold weather week and this is what happened with lambing so we started off with these two born on a really really cold day so we swiftly brought them in and um, got them under the heat lamp we lamb outside, um, but we do have space for a few sort of emergency pens to bring sheep and lambs in if there are problems. And because of the cold, and as you can see, these lambs have got hardly any wool on them. They were shivering very fast, so they came in to warm up and we kept them in for a few days. Hi, so it's Monday, Monday afternoon and the weather in the UK where we are right now is really not playing ball. Um, so we had some snow showers this morning, which indicates to you the sort of temperatures that we're having. Um, you know, we lamb outside and we lamb in April because it's supposed to be a little bit warmer. And we've got currently a wind chill of about minus four. I think tomorrow's gonna be even colder. And um, last night we had 50 mile an hour winds um, and so it, the temperatures are extremely unforgiving for lambing. So far, we've got four lambs that have been born in the past 48 hours, and they're quite pathetic, to be quite honest. Um, cut, like shivering, hardly any wool on them, even though we've got them in the shed. Uh, we've got a heat lamp rigged up. I'm trying to top them all up with colostrum and... We're bottle feeding them, we've been tube feeding them, um, and they're sort of tiny little sorry sacks of bones, really. Uh, so at the moment, the, the weather feels like it's a worry, and lambing is not going smoothly so far, let's just say. Um, we've just got these really wobbly, kind of pathetic, clueless lambs that can't even drink from their own mother. Um, I don't know whether that's because they're premature, we are, we're just trying our best for them at the moment, but we really need it to warm up. And we also need, we need more strong, robust lambs that actually know what to do. Um, so it's, it's keeping us occupied, even though we've got these relatively tiny numbers. Um, I don't know really how we'd manage if we had had millions, to be honest. Um, and that's the way that things are right now. Um, hmm. The spot is interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Shall I try them again with the milk? Yeah. Um, so it's not long after six and the sun's not up yet. It's a frosty, nice morning and it's the first morning where we're going to get up the field ASAP um, to check to see if there's any lambs. Now that we are definitely lambing, can't afford to hang around in the morning, so literally just got straight up and then go straight out. So the head count is now 27 in here. They're all fine. And the sun's not up yet. Let's have a look over the wall. Yeah. So yeah, we thought it, we thought it was a lamb, but it was actually a dead rabbit. It like lamb, it? Did look like a lamb, and there was a sheep standing over it in my defence. So that's the sunrise, and that's the sunrise, and we are here, aren't we? We are here having our um, breakfast. We're watching the sunrise, aren't we? While it's having our, well, you are having your breakfast. <laughs> so now that the lambs are fed and it's an all clear up the field, nothing's lambed overnight or this morning yet. So I can have my cup of tea 
enjoy a bit of sunshine and uh, and frosty morning. I didn't think that on the 6th of April we'd be still breaking ice on all the water troughs, but here you go. Oh my word. We are now experiencing what appears to be some kind of strange snowstorm. This wintry weather really needs to do one because it's not good. <laughs> it's not good for lambing in, it really isn't. So no, it's not a scene out of winter, it's April the 6th and it's a snowy, crazy winter wonderland. What have you got to say then, Dad? Pardon? What have you got to say? Well, the weather's just diabolical. Uh, it's just bitterly, bitterly cold. Now it's nice in the sun when the sun's out, but with this like snow shower, it's completely covered the ground. It has stopped again now, but it's just far from ideal. Why is it not good for the sheep? Well, it just puts extra stress on them. Uh, yeah, I mean, they could cope with this, but it's, you know, bad, harsh changes in the weather is just not good for them when they get uh, lambing in, lambing in. And it's Up here a bit then. That's your tea time feed, you need it. This weather. So yeah, the end of the day, or getting towards the end of the day. On Tuesday, I think it is, the 6th of April. And the day that the snow came and took us all by surprise. Night, my angels. Um, so it's Wednesday the 7th today and still, still in the grip of the, the very cold cold unforgiving conditions and ice and more snow forecast So this little pair of angels that were born on Easter Sunday and it's now Wednesday morning. Um, so this is their mum. 
she's been under the weather and um, so she's had a variety of things and um, and she's not been standing up very much so that's why we've been bottle feeding them because she's not very well and because she likes to lay down a lot and the lambs they haven't got a lot of wherewithal so between the two of them they're they're a needy little group so the lambs are being bottle fed and uh, and the ewes had antibiotics, painkillers, um, and she's also been eating ivy, which I understand um, can be like a natural remedy for ewes um, that are sick. That is a decent thickness of ice this morning. Um, so I'm going to finish off the video uh, with a little update on the poorly you. So sh we ended up giving her like the full works, selenium, calcium, what else, ivy, rock salt. And um, the rock salt seemed to be the thing that she was deficient in. So she's perked up, but we're still topping up the, her two lambs with bottle feeding and um, the next video I'll try and bring things up to date with lambing. I'm a little bit behind because it's just been the craziest time getting the campsite reopened and uh, the first week of lambing underway. So I just haven't had the time. Um, so I will get onto it at some point and uh, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> See you in another video soon.